knows where pizza comes from. Chef Ricardo Heredia of South Park's Alchemy always starts his classes with fourth and fifth graders at McKinley Elementary with the same question. Let's start reading our mise en place and then we'll go down the line just like um, we always do and read the method. Normally the cooking classes take place in the school's kitchen, but today Heredia and Alchemy owner Ron Troyato have rolled grills into the school's garden for a pizza making class. This side is charcoal. Save them so we can put it on our pizza. Right. After picking a few toppings from the garden to add to their pizzas, Let's get started. Heredia students circle up to learn the basics of pizza dough making. So you're just going to want to keep doing this until your dough comes together and forms a ball. But these kids aren't happy to just sit back and watch how things are done. Punch it down. Well, not literally. Let's, <laughs> let's push it down. But Heredia has a few more things on his mind when he plans his classes than students getting their hands dirty. What I want kids to get out of it is, is a basic knowledge of where your food comes from, why, it, why it's healthy, um, why people, um, why farmers are important, um, how to use a knife properly, and, and to cook with their family. I think that's something that um, us as Americans were losing. Heredia and Troyato have been running eight-week classes for students at Albert Einstein Charter School for three years. The flowers are delicious. Is this this is the first class they've offered at McKinley, and Troyato says they hope the growing program can serve as a model for other restaurants that want to reach out to their local schools. Before you start rolling it out. Okay. Along with the cooking, there's a field trip, and then um, the education aspect of it that relates to the gardens that they have going typically. Um, and it can also relate to the programs in the classroom, which um, San Diego Unified and, and the other districts in San Diego County are working hard to, to develop the whole system around healthy eating, so we feel like we're, we're part of that. Parents pay $35 for eight after-school classes and for the chef jackets and hats that each young cook gets. Some costs are covered by the school, and all of the adults involved donate their time. Make a come over here. Any additional costs are absorbed by the restaurant, an arrangement Triado is hoping to change with grant funding eventually. Perfect. The students, though, are more interested in cooking than how the classes came to their campus. Like my mom would get mad at me because I used to like like try to do things in the kitchen. My mom would be like, no, go away, let me cook. And then so, yeah, I just wanted to cook by myself. So it's the only place I can really do it because my mom gets mad at me. She thinks I'm going to ruin the food. <laughs> I want to kind of learn how to do more than just scrambled eggs. The idea that kids aren't interested in new and different food doesn't hold for this group. Their favorite part of the classes... Well, getting to make new foods that I have never made before. What, like what? The eggplants, the tortillas, the pizza. A little bitter, a little more intense. Heredia says that curiosity shows up in a sophistication about food. Yeah. I have them describe um, flavor profiles, and it's amazing. I, I get a little bitterness um, from this, so that, that's very smooth and buttery. So they're descriptive terms, and just seeing them think on that level is, is surprising. You want to make your dough into a ball. All right. The students wear their mastery of basic cooking skills unselfconsciously, even showing one public television reporter the ropes of pizza making. Slide it in the oven. Slide it in the oven? Chef Ricardo, I made a star. And many, like Julia Nunnemaker, are happy to tout their creations. I found some basil and there's mozzarella and carrot slices and a bit of lettuce. And uh, how did it taste? It's delicious. I especially love the sauce. Faculty advisor Guy DeVos says getting to enjoy the final product keeps the kids engaged, but so does seeing the garden they have science lessons in producing food. There's a big focus in the classes on, on green and not wasting things, and the kids are seeing with the garden that things are going right into something that they can consume. And that's been really exciting for them. Students easily make connections between the work they do in the kitchen and their other classes. One example comes up again and again. Fractions, well, I've been learning in class, but we kind of did it in the cooking class too. In their last class, about four weeks from now, the students will make a three-course meal for two friends or family members. While the kids may not all be headed for careers in the kitchen, they'll know that they can plan and carry out a complex project and make a delicious dinner. See you next week. Star pizza. Star pizza.